with Eskimos receiver Kenny Stafford. Kenny, obviously a bounce back week for the Eskimos offense this week. Yes, yes. So, I mean, we just got to get back to what we were doing. We, the elements kind of got to us in Hamilton, but we were able to pull out a, a good team win. I mean, defense played their butts off. I mean, creating three fumbles. I think we had, what, three fumbles? Two pick sixes, another pick. We had a bunch of sacks. Like we, I mean, the defense they they, they tip the hats off to them. I mean, when you got a great defense like that, and you can rely on them, knowing that no matter what time, no matter how much points you can get down, they can come over and overcome that. Even the field position. I mean, we had bad that we put them in bad field position pretty much the whole game, and they came out didn't say come on offense nothing they just put their hat on man and played football it must be a real confidence builder for an offense to know that they're going to get you the ball back and for the most part they're always going to put you in good field position yeah i mean not one time did i really panic during the game like oh my god like we're we're not moving the football because i know what type of what caliber of defense we do have i mean and coach jones i mean he he's a he's a mastermind behind that so i mean he puts the players where they need to make plays and the players make the plays so i mean it's a, it's a good it's a good thing. What kind of week has it been in trying to turn it around? Uh, you mentioned it was mostly elements. So is there anything else there that you guys have seen studying the film that you need to correct to be better? Not really. I mean, just like I said, assignment, alignment, make the play. You just make football more simple. Get on the same page. Once again, that's only Mike's third week playing football. And when you say that, you're like, wow, like that's scary. Because I mean, we're still able. We're still we're still climbing. We're still we still haven't peaked yet as an offense, which you don't want to peak until late. So uh, right now we're just getting used to it. Mike getting used to us. We getting used to Mike and putting some things in the offense, some nuances that uh, where um, Mike can handle as far as you know uh, audibles and read routes and stuff like that. So we're able to we're able to do a lot more with him in there because they know he's capable of doing that. BC Lions this week at Commonwealth Stadium. A little bit about their defense and what you're facing. Defense is good. Defense is good. Uh, I mean, they, they're a veteran group, definitely. You got Ryan Phillips at half. You got uh, 25, Yell, who's at their boundary corner, who's been playing with Cord, Cord Parks, who's been playing good football. He's been hurt, but number six has been uh, stepping in for him. I mean, they, uh, Big Hill, D-line's good, athletic. They get to the passer. I mean, what more can you say? I mean, they, they, they want you to make the mistakes, so they, they make you play football. They make you earn it. How difficult is it to take this? I know the, the old football saying is one game at a time, right? Uh, you got that game October 10th coming up against Calgary. You stay with Calgary, you got a chance to, to move into first place with a win. Uh, I guess the key is to look after business before that, right, and heading into that game. At the end of the day, we control our own destiny. It's, it's, it's all in our hands. It's all about what you want to do with it. If we went out, we we did what we were supposed to do. If we don't, we didn't do what we were supposed to do. And my mom always told me as a young kid, if you do what you're supposed to do, you get to do what you want to do. So let's do what we're supposed to do. Words to live by. Kenny Stafford, thanks very much. Thank you.